So, when was uh when was music introduced to you? It was introduced to me a long time ago with UGK, Master P, you know what I'm saying? Pocket full of stones. I grew up to that shit, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't pocket full of stones, I don't fuck with shit. I need some money in my pocket, so I'm a drug dealer. I'm a hustler. I'm a get it how I gotta get it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so when did you start rapping? I wanna say I really looked into the rapping about 2004, but I had been rapping since 99, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I got serious with it in 2004, like I said, but being around it, being involved with the freestyle session, with the beat making, I, I started that in about 99, or actually being serious with it. All right, so other than uh, UGK, who's some of the artists that you look up to? Shit, if it ain't Pimp, right now I'm fucking with the Hood Rich, you know, I'm Gucci Mane. I fuck with Tip, he on the trap music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's been a lot of ATL rappers. I, I fuck with, you know what I'm saying, a lot of West Coast, you know, it's East Coast too. Shit, the, the Dirty South, ain't nothing wrong with the Dirty South. Come here now, Paw Wow, you know what I'm saying, your Snip Dugs. Shit, that, that's how it's gotta be, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm a Texas nigga, I'm gonna keep it Texas. Alright, so um, when I was listening to y'all music and I listened to like, like different, different, different songs from each and every one of you. Like, what I felt is like, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all go for like a, a clubby, clubby, clubby. Uh, what's that word? Like a club vibe. You like feel a me? club vibe. Yeah. yeah. Like, is that is that intentional or you know it just happened? Sometimes it just happened. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of time it be intentional. We try to keep the vibe of keeping people hype. You know what I'm saying? Because we stay hype. So that's the concept of what You know what I'm saying? Just turn up. Like, up, nigga, get, get up. It don't matter if you on drugs or, or you, you just get money or you just laid back. You know what I'm saying? Just stay up. You know what I'm saying? So we try to keep it to uh, what people like to hear in the club. You know what I'm saying? But we got this street knowledge like Key Brown. I mean, D Brown kicks. You know what I'm saying? And Lil A kick that shit too. I kick a little of that shit too. But I like I said, I like them hoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to fuck some. All right. All right. So, um, you from the east side? East side. Denver Heights, Texas. Denver Heights. All right, talk about talk about your life growing up. Shit, nigga, life growing up was hoping, being in the streets. Saying I had I had a dream of going to college. I did go to college for a little bit. After that, it's like the street just hung on to a nigga. You gotta stay away from these streets. I try to tell my little niggas stay away from them streets, man. The streets will hold you down. And shit, that's how I've been forever. You know what I'm saying? Stuck in the street. I went to school. Like I said, I did. I was great. Basketball, all that. Street knowledge is, was my mind, you know what I'm saying? That was my mindset. So I, that's why I dropped out of college and then I kept going to the street every day. Yeah, but you were still doing uh, music while, while in the streets? Yes, sir. How did, you, how did you balance that out? I just made it a lifestyle, man. Just, hey, when I got time, I'm going to do it. If I, if I like writing, I'm going to do it. If this holding piss me off, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? However it go. I mean, I'm going to sell what I need to sell and do what I need to do. I mean, my environment is was trap niggas and trap hoes, you know what I'm saying? So we either sit in the trap, beating on the table, fucking rapping. Fuck it, I'ma write it down and go record it. Let's go record it. We got somewhere to do it, let's do it. That's how it began began a fucking movement. Shit. Now we ain't gonna stop. I mean, do you ever fear that the street shit will catch up to you? Cause I, you know we recently just lost a artist that that shit has happened to, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this shit since I was 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? So, nigga, I ain't pretending this shit. This shit no, is no, real life I see shit. you in the club with the yeah. red flag in your pocket and shit, yeah. Like, nah, nigga. That's it. I know who I know. I've been on this east side since I was motherfucking born in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Do stop Texas stand up. You know what I'm saying? So, do I feel like street life will catch up to me? I feel like it's been here with me the whole time. The walk on this motherfucker is right here. You know what I'm saying? This is my nigga. So, yeah, I believe street life is right here with me. Okay. All right. So, you've done you've done some shows in the city. Have you ever taken it out of town? Shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've done a few shows. Corpus, Austin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Houston. I know you're looking for Dallas. You know what I'm saying? That that's nigga Burp City, but I'm raised in San Antonio. But I'm really looking more of the Dallas stream. You know what I'm saying? I like what Dallas is doing. They've been doing good music for a little while. You know what I'm saying? With the dances and. You know what I'm saying? Now what they got going on, I like that. So that's what we're looking into now. It's like more out of town, you know what I'm saying? San Antonio, we, we got it locked. It's on lockdown, you know what I'm saying? So now it's time to go outside of the Texas area 
and hit Mississippi and everywhere else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, where do you think the city stands when it comes to the music shit? We stand at a low rate. If it was a motherfucking from a 10 to 20 rate, we probably at 15. Because you got, Texas is pretty big. It take a day to get across this motherfucker. And then you got Atlanta, and you got, you know what I'm saying, other states. Then you got motherfuckers on the other side of the world coming out. You know what I'm saying? So, San Antonio, we there. It's just that we not working together to build a bigger establishment for all of us. If all of us put together, everybody, Blake, every fucking body. If we all put together, we can run this shit and run harder than Houston or Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we, we only got really one nigga that's hitting. Kali, I fuck with Kali, but it's a, it's a young nigga crowd right now. You know what I'm saying? And so, Blake is taking the top of the choice for the tone, which he should be on top of that and helping out for the tone. He should do more things in the tone. I don't know what his contract say. He say, do what it do. You know where your city is, you know where your, your feet was grown from, you know what I'm saying? You know where you grew up from. So bring that back. Help out the city. You know where the real talent was. Where you got your talent from. Yeah, but I think him being signed might might shine a little light on the city, you know? Yeah, that's true. I do, I do feel like that because his name, like Blake and boom, where he's, where he's at. So I believe, I believe like the, the, we do have shine. We, it's people looking down on us every day. It's just that I feel like none of us are speaking loud enough. None of us is hitting hard enough. There's something wrong there. There's something missing. And we all got to work together to make that pop. And once we make that pop, like the radio station ain't there, fuck with us, so fuck the radio station. I fuck with DJ Tiz and his radio station, the real one. Nigga, that's the realest shit right now. You know what I'm saying? Because they playing every local artist. Every DJ that fuck with up with us and they spinning us in the club on if I bought him a drink or I chunked him some money or if not, and they spending our music, I fuck with that. That's a, that helps the city grow. Cause you got people, this is a tourist city. You know what I'm saying? So you got people here that come here just to tour. And look what we doing. We bullshitting, we arguing with each other. We jacking niggas chains on bull niggas, on bullshit, like dry shit. We need to stop the bullshit, stop trying to go viral off of bullshit and just work together and make this shit pop. Cause we got talent here. There's plenty of talent here. I fuck with a lot of niggas, and a lot of niggas fuck with us. But niggas that don't fuck with us need to fuck with the other motherfuckers to get established. They might go harder than a bitch, but they don't want to fuck with nobody. That's a problem. That's what I'm talking about. Your last visual with D Brown was uh was drugs almost a year ago, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. is there is there a reason like you know there ain't been visuals since? I don't I don't really give a damn about the visuals. Yeah, but like the way hip hop <laughs> is nowadays, you feel me? It's like it's mandatory now. Yeah, one hundred. That's one hundred, you know what I'm saying? But me as like I say, I'm a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? So visuals, I could do it right now, you know what I'm saying? I can shoot a visual right now. I got a cameraman on deck. So I just take my time. I pick and choose what fans really like. I know a lot of fans been asking for breaking the bowl. So that's what I think I'm gonna give everybody. If I don't give everybody all man goddamn, I'm going with breaking the bowl. I'm just waiting. We're just chilling, taking our time. We got this shit in lock, and it's, it's coming slowly, but for surely, you know what I'm saying? So it's going down, up, on up with it. All right, so other than breaking the boat, what you, what you got coming up for us? What does the whole group have coming up? Like I said, man, the whole group, we got, we got a new mixtape. We haven't really put a piece of it all together. I mean, we got hella shit in the bucket, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we got shit we can put in motherfucking trailers and just leave it, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's music on top of music, so that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just shit that people haven't heard, and it's shit that we just hit me on. Like, we'll put it out, and it, like, but it is what it is. So, like, we all working on shit. Like I said, A got his solo, D got his solo, and Key got his solo coming soon. D, I'm still working on my solo. I'm featured on each one of those. You know what I'm saying? So, don't really worry about me too much. I'm here. I'm gonna be here in your face every day. Every time you need to hear some up with the shit, I'm right there for you. But my new shit, man, I, shit, I've been working on some, some things, some things I keep it to myself, really, on my new shit, and let's not work with them. All right, all right. So, if someone was to contact you, what can they get at you at? So they gonna find me on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. Just look up Boo Man, B-U-U-M-A-N-E. Once you put Boo Man, that shit gonna pop up. My, you could Google Boo Man, goddamn me. 
That shit gonna be right there. I'm the only motherfucking boo man that there is. Shit, shout out Chocolate, shout out Lil Yoda, shout out THC, shout out Heaven Thing, shout out Lil A, shout out Kind Paper Key, shout out D Brownie, shout out Migo ENT, shout out my boy Chris doing his damn thing, shout out D Clark, call me baby, you know what I'm saying? It's going down. Fuck with you, boy. EHB shit, over the clan shit, Texas shit, nigga, deuce down. 100. Oh, and also shout out Lockwood Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? I can't forget about that nigga. Free Skinny P, man. My nigga looking at 25 to life. So y'all free that nigga. Help that nigga get free, my nigga. Okay. Uh, okay.